future brand marketing. Brands need to not interrupt people's daily lives, but they need to build context and be relevant to enhance their daily experiences. Brands are all about disruption. Disruption, disruption. Advertising is all about disruption. I'm going to disrupt you from hearing your favorite song on the radio. I'm going to disrupt you from paper programming. I'm going to disrupt you from being the editorial by sticking an ad in the middle. But people don't want to be disrupted anymore. They want you to be in the proper context of what they're doing at that point in time. It's why the only people who don't really disrupt is like fashion magazines, because the ads look just as good as the editorial. Probably one of the few. Maybe some of the consumer electronics, but really the fashion, because everything, everything is styled from cover to cover. If you don't even bring a stylish ad, they really don't want it. It'll take the money. They don't want it. Brand marketing is shifted from being seen to being shared. Advertising is all about being seen. Marketing is like, oh, you got to be seen. And consumers like, no, we want to share. <laughs> we want to share the experience and share with people and tell them about it, whether it's great or if it sucks, especially if it sucks. We might even put on an It Sucks website. <laughs> think about that. You think about the notion of it being shared. So when you develop programs now, you have to develop a marketing campaign so it can be shared versus being seen. That's very different thinking. Um, the next paradigm is marketing and service. Everyone heard of software as a service? This is kind of a new paradigm. Marketing as a service is more when marketing is a utility. Uh, let's say you go to the airport and there's a Wi-Fi hub and it's uh, owned by AT&T. AT&T is a telecommunications company. He says, okay, instead of us putting a billboard in front of you, why don't we give you a place where you can be productive and to work in a relevant setting that's relevant to what we do. So if we provide internet, we'll provide internet at the airport. That's marketing as a utility. This will be the new expectation, that marketing becomes a utility, something functional and usable, not you trying to scream at me when I'm not interested in your uh, People are building brands. Not, ad not agencies, not, ad not advertisers, not stewards, <laughs> super advocates, not agencies. They're building the brands now. They've always been building the brands. But the arrogance was agencies like, oh, no, we build brands. We're brand builders. No, not really. You're creating an opportunity for exposure for a brand message to be adopted by a consumer who would then dictate whether it succeeds or fails. But this is a blatant statement now. They were just in denial before. And marketing is a discipline was too. You know, we'll, we'll create the need and people will buy it. Now people are like, you can create what you want. I'll tell you what I'm going to buy on the back end. That's very different. And you have to think about the fact that you have to go through in a, a, you know, a million individuals who have different preferences and tastes to determine. And this is why so much is being spent on product testing and trial and R&D now, because if this is happening, well, we need to sample with 100,000 people. It's kind of like pharmaceutical companies. They do clinical trials, run a drug for two years with 1,000, 2,000, 10,000 patients before they get into market because one adverse effect, like Vioxx, is, you know, kills people and then the drug goes off the market. Consumer product companies? will have to consider the same level of rigor relevant to their injury as what pharma does, because that's what's at stake.